Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Mastercraft Pro 3 8 inch impact socket set in six point, both deep well and short well. We've got the whole set that came with a tool set that I got quite a long time ago, about 20 years ago. And uh, it was uh, an amazing tool set as far as the sockets were concerned. Although, uh, and I've made a point about this in the other reviews, is that the newer Mastercraft Pro uh, isn't quite the same as the old Mastercraft Pro. So let's go and take a look at some of these sockets. They are indeed chrome vanadium sockets, and we have a few different versions to compare to. I want to show you this uh, 3 short shortwell to give you an idea that if uh, chrome vanadium is properly heat treated, um, they're really good for impact sockets. Maybe not the best on the highest end of the torque ranges, or and I'm not exactly sure because there isn't any YouTube videos where they really do some serious testing, testing the Rockwell hardness of molybdenum and vanadium impact sockets and then torque testing and measuring their overall wall thickness. You'd actually have to get pretty serious to really uh, evaluate which one is really better, um, especially when it comes to either ultimate strength or uh, amount of wear, I mean, how long it lasts, the number of fasteners removed. Anyway, these you can see have really held up pretty well. A lot of these sockets, and let me get a better light on them, there we go. You can really see that they've been pretty well used, especially like the 19, the 17, the 14, and the 12, and the 10. Come on, camera have really been uh, pretty reliable. It's really surprising. You can see that they haven't really rolled over or, um, and there has been a little bit where I've slipped off fasteners, but it's surprising how well they've lasted. And that's really the point of this review is that the Mastercraft Pros were um, much better than expected. It was really surprising. And to tell you the truth, uh, if I thought they were the same tools now, I would really believe they, they would hold their own against uh, quite a few nice brands. We'll take another look at the deep wells here, and they're pretty much built the same way. I haven't used them quite as much, but they've worn, there's been no difference between the deep well and the short well. And if we look at, say, drive squares, you can see that even the drive square holds up pretty well and doesn't wear out that fast. So generally speaking, they've been just premium sockets, and they are highly recommended. Uh, the whole set, there's basically no defects. There's one socket, and I can't remember where. Um, I uh, That had one extra hole drilled in it, so it had three holes, but that was literally the only defect. They've always had really nice deep roll stamps. They have the undercut, so they'll take traditional impact locking rings. Where some other impacts, such as this Craftsman or the Snap-on, just have a standard hole in them. And I'm going to go ahead and pull off a few, because I have a few different brands here, and we can compare them side by side. Here we go. I put them on a socket strip, so it'll be easier to do side by side comparisons. Let's get the flashlight going. There we go. What we have here is a Proto. Um, this is a modern one where it has a fluted drive. Pretty nice finish, you can tell. Nice deep roll stamp. Here's our snap-on. This is an older snap-on with the cursive writing, but snap-ons have always been pretty nice. And they do like what Craftsman does where you corrugate the metrics so it's easier to pick them out if you have a pile of sockets. And the snap-ons, um, I'll have to say, is the most rounded out of all these sockets. And I actually did all, most of that rounding on one fastener. It was surprising. Here's the middle one, the Mastercraft Pro. If you didn't no, it was a Mastercraft Pro. You'd say it's just about as good as a Snap-on or a Proto. Here's a USA Craftsman. And the Craftsmans are really nicely made, but I wish they would have had that undercut like the Proto does, because that really makes it like a, a truly professional impact socket. Uh, I'm not sure why Craftsman didn't do, the, do that. And here's a Pittsburgh 16 millimeter, And you can see there's a big difference. Here, The Pittsburgh has a, it seems, a much lighter coating or carburization finish. Um, as far as the physical forging, it looks fine, but there is a real big finish difference between that and then the rest of these sockets. So there's a nice side-by-side -side comparison showing how the Mastercraft Pro really, um, as far as how it looks, stands up well to a bunch of other nice brands. And, and especially when you look at like this 10 millimeter, it's done quite a bit of work and the, the uh, drive end is just great condition. Anyway, 
that's the end of this review. Just wanted to bring attention to these uh, impact sockets and maybe people out there who have Mastercraft Pro or have seen some online or on Craigslist will have a better idea of what they can expect. And just to make it real easy, the original Mastercraft Pro had this type of stamping, the large word Mastercraft. It wasn't one word, it was distinctly two words, Pro with trademark. The newer ones are different. The Pro is like a little word and a different font, and then they say Taiwan, and I don't think they're the same as quite these original Mastercrafts. Just for your information. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.